Is a camel a mammal? All about mammals. Is a camel a mammal? I am the cat in a hat, and I am writing a book. It's all about mammals. Come on, take a look. From the front fruit-eating bat to the smart chimpanzee, from the moles in their holes to the seals in the sea, from raccoons to baboons, I will show you to them. Your mother will not mind at all if I do. All mammals breathe air and are warm to the touch. Mammals grow hair, some a lot, some not much. The hair can be soft like the fur of a kitten or the wool from a lamb. You knit into a mitten. The hair can be hard like the small hedgehog spines or the dangerous quails of two porcupines. Mammals live on cold mountains and hot burning sand, deep down, deep in the oceans, or out on dry land. They can hop, jump, and swim, or glide high on the breeze. They can walk, run, and climb, or swing up in the trees. They are full of surprises, of that I have no doubt. Is a camel a mammal? Read on and find out. What's a world's smallest mammal? I've brought one for you. It weighs less than a pence. It's this cute. Pygmy shrew. What's the world's largest mammal? I know, you would ask. You can figure it out if you're up to the task. Find some elephants, each weighing 6,000 kilos. Quite how you find them. Well, honestly, who knows? When you've got 27 stacked up on a scale... You'll come close to the weight of a single. Blue whale. This mammal lives under the sea. And its baby, when born, weighs two tons more than me. Here's a fact about whales that I learned from the Sneetches. When one jumps out of the water, we say that it breaches. And speaking of babies, a hippopotamus baby, a son or a daughter, must swim right away because it's born underwater. And these bobcat kittens have soft furry paws, but hidden inside them are very sharp claws. Baby bats are called batlings, and bat mums, I hear, give birth to just one little batling each year. When a mum armadillo has babies, you'll find she has four. They're all boys or all girls, just one of a kind. Each baby possum the size of a bee. bee. A teen can fit into a teaspoon, you see. Kangaroos, bandicoots, and wallabies have pouches to carry their babies with ease. Mammals come in all colors, and this helps protect them. They're designed so their enemies cannot detect them. The snowshoe... Air will turn white when it snows, from the tips of its ears to its little pink nose. But in spring, when the snows melts, its fur turned to brown. It hides then because it blends in with the ground. 
skunks have black and white fur, that means stop, stay away. But if someone keeps trying to get them to play, they will stamp. Then let loose with a foul-smelling spray. Skunks tend to lose lots of fun playmates that way. The polar bear walrus, sea lion on otter, spend most of their time in a, their home in the water. A mother bear snuggles right down in her cave with her two little bear cubs, who both are named Dave. They sleep through each winter. It's spring when they wake. It's called hibernation, the sleep that they take. A giraffe, cow, or bison has horns on its head. Caribou, moose, and reindeer have antlers instead. Horns stay on forever. Antlers are here. Fall off just like Tidwicks the same time each year. Anteaters never can find time to play. They have to eat thousands of ants. Every day. You may think that cheese is what mice like to eat, but they really like seeds such as corn, oats, and wheat. Carnivores love juicy meat. Herbivores like plants. Omnivores, we do recall, like meat and plants, they eat it all. Now here is the question I want to ask you. Is a camel a mammal? You're right, it is true. They're the ships of the desert. They are called that, I know, because camels take people where they want to go, across hot desert sands and through cold icy snow. With its four padded feet, it can walk without sinking. And go on for days, even weeks, without drinking. Long, heavy eyelashes, nostrils that's close, keep the sand out of its eyes and nose. My book about mammals is about almost complete. There are just two more mammals I want you to meet. They are right in this room. Do you see them? One has brown eyes and one blue eye. These mammals are two of my favorite. They are. Can you see them? No. Can you find no. them? You. Yes. People are mammals. Amazing but true. Oh, and cats in tall hats? Well, yes. We're mammals too. Good night, and thank you so much for listening to Is a Camel a Mammal, read by John and Sarah.